I mean, everybody in my band's an A-list player. I just don't have time for B-list guys. I always dreamed of being in a band. You know, I wouldn't be part of a band. I still wouldn't be part of a band. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, this looks like such an awesome film. I'm with uh, Jason Hook from Five Finger Death Punch, and, and you are the guitarist, of course, and you play the Gibson, you play a Gibson guitar. I do, yes, yeah. I do, I'm committed. Yes. I, have, I, have my, I don't know if you can see that, I have my Gibson tattoo here. I, we, yeah, <laughs> there you go. And uh, so, first of all, when you came up here, uh, what'd you think of the Vic Gibson showroom? Well, th this is one of my favorite places in Las Vegas. Uh, it just has such a great vibe, and of course, all these, uh, it's wall candy. Yeah. Uh, all my, uh, little friends here. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I, I want that one. That one. I, ooh, what's that one? You know? <laughs> well, we'll talk. We'll, we'll yeah. talk with uh, Patrick over there. Uh, so let's talk about uh, this movie. You're, you're a mm -hmm. producer on Hired Gun. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, from what I can tell, this really profiles the guys behind the guy. That's or, right. or the girls behind the guy, or the girls behind the girl. But you know what I mean. It's there, and, and, and I was just talking to you during the commercial break. When I go to a concert, there's usually one, if not more, that the, of the band members that mm -hmm. really stand out mm -hmm. besides the lead singer. So this is why it's an important movie, right? Yeah, I mean, we tried to, you know, shine a spotlight on those uh, uh, amazing musicians that otherwise wouldn't have the exposure or attention. And um, so we kind of mixed up a little bit between people that you really have never heard of before, like right. the really talented people that I had access to as friends of mine, mm -hmm. and then some of the older uh, sort of veterans like Steve Vai and Steve Lukather and people that have really sort of done it all um, and get their take on their life, you know. Um, and then we had some celebrities that kind of bolstered the stories, like Alice Cooper. Uh, we talked to David Foster, which was kind of neat, the producer. Yeah. And he, and he was a hired musician for the first part of his life and then turned into a producer uh, from there. But every what we found out was that everybody has one incredible jaw-dropping story. Oh, I So bet. we just kind of cut through all that and made... So we strung together everyone's really potent story, and so there's the movie. There was uh, there was one guy. You'll have to remind me who it was, but he was uh, he was saying, uh, you know, he, got, he he lost one job, and then all of a sudden an opportunity to play for Pink yeah. uh, arose, and he was so excited about playing for Pink. Now Pink is a rocker. I mean yeah. that 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 has to be an amazing assignment. Yeah, I mean uh, that's Justin Dierko, who is okay. also a Gibson artist. Oh, okay. Um, and he is a phenomenal guitar player, and I think that this movie will really change his landscape because, you know, he does work for Pink, right. and I know how great he is, and of course we have all the footage of him playing, but I think that the fact that it's documented in this film will really shine a light on him, um, and people will get to know some of these musicians that are really incredible. Now, this debuted at South by Southwest? It did. Okay. Yeah, world premiere. Wow, yeah, okay. We, we had a packed theater, people were, Laughing and nice. shouting in the uh, in the audience. Uh, it really has a buzz to I mean, it took three years to do this project Yeah, so I mean you just have to have a firm belief that we're gonna start this crazy thing that we don't know too much about And we're gonna carve it all the way to the end and here we are it's done um, I can't wait for people to see it. Yeah, it's it really is um, a, a proud thing for me to yeah. have finished yeah very cool well good luck on, on that and I'm sure the folks from uh, Las Vegas will want to want to see that movie we will have a Vegas uh, screening I was okay. uh, over at comp the radio station yeah. the other day uh -huh. and uh, on with Carlota and she was like we'll put it together we'll do a red carpet and we'll do a promotion yeah, so uh, sure. that way uh, all of uh, all of my friends and family from Las Vegas can have a chance to see it before it's released to the world through yeah. whatever Avenue we find here Thank you, sir. Hey, thank I appreciate you. Appreciate it. All yeah. right, my pleasure. All right, back downstairs. All right, guys, thank you so much. Well